Okay, so I'm gonna go over on how to execute and build a model using the PyTorch C++ distribution. It's real simple and I'll go over it real quickly. Um, before I start, make sure you watch uh, lesson one just so you can um, follow real easier. So I've already made the CMake file. It's right here. Um, we can go into it and let's look what I've added. So. That all the standard stuff. That's the standard stuff. There's the project name, the version, our variable for our path, package, blah blah, and, and all the other stuff. So one thing I've added was these two lines. So I have a source directory and an include directory. The source directory will include our main file, and our include directory will include our header file. So for this project, we only have one file that we need. So we'll just call this network. Um, so this standard stuff again watch my previous video if, if you uh, don't understand this so let's go back out and let's create our di directory so we need a build directory obviously we need our include directory and we need our source directory now let's go into our include directory first so and let's make a file called network.h First thing we'll include, we'll include all of our default stuff, so torch. So I've added all of the default stuff. Right now all I'm going to do is just create our network. So we'll make a strut. And we'll name it whatever we want to name it. Um, so I'll call this net and after the, I name it whatever I want to name it um, you're gonna add this to the end of it now you just add this IMPL to the end of it and you should be fine now let's inherit from our torch module and let's create our constructors so. alright so we're going to add two variables one for the first layer um, neurons, how many neurons we want in the first layer, and one for the hidden layer for how many neurons we want in that layer. So we'll just call this FC1 dims and FC2 dims. So let's create an integer FC1 dims, FC2 dims. And let's, for this, we'll say FC1, this just references our layer. So we'll just say FC1 takes in this many neurons, input neurons, and outputs this many neurons, right? And we'll do the same thing for the layers. It takes an FC1 dims, outputs FC2 dims. And we have an output layer, of course. FC2 dims, and we'll output one value. And let's register all of our layers. So, register module. Okay, and let's make our forward function. And we follow the same thing as we would do in Python. So it's real simple. Let's add a value to this. Turn our x. So we just ran a forward pass through our layers and return that value. Um, let's actually define our layers now. So we just say torch and then linear, and we'll do FC1, FC2, and our output. So FC1 for no pointer. Set as no pointer. FC2 no pointer. And output a no pointer simple all right so again as I said we just had these last four things this IMPL because PyTorch needs us to do that but we don't really need that right now so we need to add this final line we need to say torch module and then whatever we need 
whatever we named it initially. So we named it next, as we did here. So don't mind this IMPL, just take whatever you named it and pass it in here. All right, so this is basically all we need for our model. Um, again, if you wanted to add like, let's say an optimizer and uh, a loss function or, or whatever, you wanna set this default to CUDA, you would do this in here. But we're not gonna do that. So we're good here. We're just gonna go into our main file. So let's get out of here. Let's go into our source directory and make our main file. And we'll include all our defaults, so we need to include that network file, of course. And then we'll include our other stuff. Okay, so let's make our main function and then Let's just define everything. So let's define our network first. So say it takes in 50 and then outputs 10 for the second layer. Um, let's put this out to see what comes out. It should work. Okay, let's print this out. So let's go into our build directory. We'll click this out, C make, and then we'll make it execute our make file and then we'll just run it uh we can see i have a oh i didn't type the fc2 then so let's go back there let's go back into our include i did not type this isn't it okay we should be good to go and we're execute make again oh we have one more problem I've added an extra colon let's get out of here again go into our network it's actually calling right here this is unnecessary we're good now let's go back and run it. So hopefully there's no more problems. Okay, and we're good. And let's print our network. And we can see it right here, everything that we had. So we had 50, 10, and output is one. So let's go back into our main file. Go back into our source directory, main.cpp. Um, we'll need two variables. We'll say tensor. Um, we'll have a x and then we'll have an output. And then we'll say x is just some random tensor. Let's make it, let's make this two by 50. And then we'll do our forward pass. Network forward and takes an X and then let's print out S. I mean our output so simple as that so basically to go over again I define two variables in X and output um, X is just basically a 2 by 50 tensor and then I have an output of whatever this network comes out with I should get out two values and then we'll print it we'll print everything that we get so let's go back into our build make oh let's go back into our build and we'll call make and then once everything compiles we should see everything that we need okay and run our main function and there we go so we have all our values right here Two by one, you can see that right here. CPU, CUDA cool type tensor, and like I said, just follow everything in here, and you should be good to go.